This year at CES, drones have really been a big talk at the convention, and in particular, this drone, because it is the most adorable. It's so cute, look at it, it's got the little propellers, and I just, I want one, I need one, and here to tell me how I'm gonna get one is Reese Crowther. He's gonna, you're gonna tell me all about this drone, and you're from Australia, so it's gonna sound amazing, so I'm just gonna listen to you say words and enjoy it, go. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, Xano is the world's most sophisticated nano drone. It's autonomous, intelligent, and it swarms. What that basically means is that you don't have to pilot Xano. Xano pilots itself. It's clever enough to fly all by itself, which means right out of the box, you connect your smart device to Xano, and then it will just sit there and hold and wait for your command. Wow, and so like if you're using your smart device to navigate it and such, how would you go about that? What is the integrated system like with that? Okay, so Xano, there's two ways of navigating Xano. Uh, basically, you can do it in capture mode, which means you tilt your phone left or right, forwards or backwards, and Xano will follow. There's an altitude slide bar to control the height, and a 360 degree rotatable uh, control that will rotate Xano as well. And then you can control Xano in free flight mode as well, where you have the joysticks, and it will still maintain all its obstacle avoiding and uh, autonomous uh, capabilities in free flight mode. Okay, and now how far up or out could it go? Like, does it stay relatively close, or can you get some good distance with this thing? Sure, like, Xano's uh, typically range is uh, typically limited by the Wi-Fi. So that's limited by the small ceramic antennas in your smart device. Typically with an iPhone, you're gonna get uh, 25 to 30 meters, which is about 100 yards. Wow, wow, so that's, that's really, that's football field size. I think for its application, it's uh, more than enough. Ah, that's amazing to get that far out. Okay, and so, and you just uh, attach the phone to the Xano device? No, Xano connects via Wi-Fi uh, okay. to, to the device. So basically, Xano is its own wireless hotspot. So like you would connect to your uh, wireless hub at home, you just connect to Xano, open the Xano app, and then it's just waiting for your command. And you get, you get some selfie action right there, I see, that through that camera? Yeah, that's exactly right. That's a 5 megapixel HD video camera. It shoots in 1080p, 60 FPS. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, now, this is the big question. Uh, if you're taking a picture with this, is it still considered a selfie? Or is that just taking a photo at that point? Well, listen, it's your own personal flying robot, so I think you're still taking a photo yourself. It's definitely a selfie. Definitely said it's better than those sticks that people, the golf clubs that everybody's been. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. That works, right? <laughs> Thanks, Reese. We really appreciate it. You got to get one of these. For more videos from CES, go to popsci.com, or for the full CES show, go to portico.tv.